today Mark is going to be talking about resting. I know I'm to welcome everybody, but I really welcome you three younger ones that are here. You have so much to offer as you're going forward. I do want to call attention to someone whose birthday is today. Would you please come up? Because I want to say this before I get off. We love you, and you know what, Henry? We choose you to be in our family. Happy birthday to you, Henry. Would you like to say anything? Okay. <laughs> I'd like to thank my stem cells. <laughs> my stem cells. Okay, let's welcome the Live family. So first off, we want to say that we love you guys a lot, and we've been, maybe you should go. <laughs> um. We're having a girl. No. No. <laughs> just kidding. I'm just kidding. Um, as of um, next month, we are planning to move to Seattle. Yeah. So we, I know it's a quick move and we've been trying to figure out a way to tell and share every, with everyone. It's just been a really difficult thing to process and, and, um, and then also share because it's um, sad. It's happy. It's joyful. It's emotional. It's scary. Yeah, this is temporary. And, <laughs> and life is temporary, not the move. <laughs> yeah, life is temporary. Um, so I like to think it as, as like... You know, if Christians pile up together, um, they're like manure, it stinks. Oh but God. if you spread it out, it makes things grow. So, <laughs> Amen to that. <laughs> okay. The lives are not allowed to make any more announcements. <laughs> oh. Isn't there a backup here? <laughs> oh. Okay. So as we go into prayer for them, we also want to pray... Um, for Carol, I do want to say that Anne will be going to see Carol today after church, and she will be giving communion to Carol. And Carol has a message for all of us. Whew, we have too, too much drama here. And she says, oh my gosh, she's ready for Jesus. And she's looking forward to all of us when we get there. We love her and whew, there's no one like Grandma Carol. Father, we pray for Grandma Carol and we pray for the lives as they move on. We pray for this service today that no matter what it is that you have to teach us that our hearts will be open. Lord, we love you and we give you this service today. In Jesus' name, amen. I've known Ariana since she was 12 and been through a lot with her. And um, Okay, our vision. All right, you should know this by now. Let's go ahead and go to the next slide. Today is our final S, and we are going to talk about sharing our story. And that's what we're hoping to do. We're hoping to make friends and build relationships as we go out into the community and offer a safe space where people can rest and feel safe and build friends. Folks, there's a serious um, after pandemic and it's, it's called loneliness and depression. This is post COVID. A lot of people don't even know how to talk in person to each other anymore. We want to create a safe space where people can be seen and heard and known. And we just want to um, share God's love and bless our neighborhood. Our text today is Luke 13. Luke 13, verses 10 through 17. On a Sabbath, and we're going to look at that word today. Some of us are very familiar with that word. Sabbath. On a Sabbath, Jesus was teaching in one of the synagogues. And a woman was there who had been crippled by a spirit for 18 years. She was bent over and could not stra straighten up at all. When Jesus saw her, he called her forward and said to her, Woman, you are set free from your infirmity. There are six days for work. 
So come and be healed on those days, not on the Sabbath. What is so special about the Sabbath that they didn't like it, that Jesus healed somebody on that day? And we emphasize keeping the Sabbath because we took it for what the Bible said. But you know what the Bible also says? <laughs> that if you do work on the Sabbath, you are to be put to death. That part we didn't quite um, live out. We, 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 we didn't follow through on that part. It says, do not work on the Sabbath. That's pretty much all it says. Okay, I don't know about you, but that makes me ask a question. What do you mean by work? Sometimes we love our work so much. We, we love going and we, we would hate to miss a day. We do enjoy our vacations and our time off, but we love our work. So what is work? What are we talking about when we talk about work? And I think it's more of a mindset and an attitude than it is actual work. We are to cease and desist from thinking that we are only worth what we can produce, that we are only worth what our labor produces. We are to be released. The Sabbath, in a sense, is a picture of us being released from having to labor over what we think we have to do to please God. We can rest in him. And know that we are loved. Because it's not so much about how much or how little energy you're exerting. It's what's going on up here. What we do with our minds. What we do with the labor that we are going through. I may have been working hard, but the cause and the purpose of what I was doing, my mindset was in tune with Jesus. In the middle of the physical exertion, my soul was at rest. I was liberated from laboring. We could be keeping the Sabbath by not working, and yet our minds can still be so labored in our confusion about who God is, about who we are in God. We could be keeping the letter of the law by not working, by ceasing from exerting energy but is that what is really the point taking time to do nothing there is a lot to be said to stop your working to stop the physical exertion to stop looking at our phones to 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 stop worrying about sometimes even what what our schedule is to actually sit and do nothing, it often brings everything into perspective. May we be liberated from laboring and may we rest in Jesus. Father, Son, and Spirit, thank you for your goodness and for your grace. Thank you for resting. <laughs> thank you for showing us how it's done. And not just that, but offering us the ultimate rest. The rest in your very person. The rest in Jesus. May we release our labor to you. May we quiet ourselves enough to gain perspective, your perspective, on who you are and who we are in you. Give us rest. Even on our busiest days, give us rest. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Amen.